In the wild and wacky, deranged world of family sports, there is no end to the lunacy. I'm talking about novelty sports games for the whole family to not enjoy but pretend they enjoy together. I'm talking about things like horseshoe tossing and croquet. Today I'll be diving into this uninspired and unfun cesspool of activities with one of the worst ones I've seen called Merbles. Outdoor games are a family tradition, but many keep you stuck in one spot or can even leave you with a real pain in the back. That's always an important selling point in these products. You know, it's good for all ages. It's not painful for anyone from the biggest bodybuilders to the most frail, glass-boned, paper-skinned people on the planet. Anyone can play them, and no one will have fun with them. However, in Merble's case, I don't see it being like a, a healthy alternative for people with bad backs or joints. They show this alpha male straining his back back throwing a horseshoe which I don't attribute to the horseshoe's weight or anything like that unless that horseshoe is made from parts of Thor's hammer and it's just 500 fucking pounds. It's really the bending forward motion that would be hurting his back which you still have to do with merbles so it's just the same thing but with a ball instead of a horseshoe. Instead, how about you open a bag of fun with Merbles? Designed for all ages and abilities, Merbles is a fun outdoor family game that's perfect for all ages, similar to lawn bowling. And just as fucking boring as lawn bowling, notice how the man with the bad back who just threw himself into the hospital with the horseshoe is now doing the exact same throwing motion but with a ball this time. A horseshoe doesn't weigh very much, I think they weigh like a pound, maybe two. Granted, I'm not the most seasoned veteran when it comes to horseshoe throwing. I'm not over there fucking my sister in Alabama and playing horseshoes at Thanksgiving. But from the limited exposure I've had in that sport, I've noticed that they're not very heavy even when I was a toddler. So I don't think it's the weight, it's the throwing motion which is the same from Merbles to horseshoes to cornhole. Merbles doesn't require a dedicated cord or setup. To play, start by tossing the point ball underhand. Then alternate turns throwing the balls trying to get them the closest to the point ball. After all Merbles are thrown, the player closest to the point ball scores. Now be honest, I know you're foaming at the mouth, scratching at the neck, needing your Merbles fixed after hearing how this exhilarating sport functions. Fucking digging through your mom's purse looking for a credit card so you can er order some Merbles now. Looking into your bank statement seeing if you can afford a bag of Merbles. I know this shit sounds thrilling. And also, it can be used with literally anything in the world. It doesn't have to be Merbles balls. You can just grab fucking tennis balls and just designate one with like a sharpie as the point ball. Not that I'm trying to teach you how to pirate Merbles or, you know, do-it-yourself Merbles or anything. I'm not trying to give you like knockoff Merbles. I'm just telling you, there are workarounds here, loopholes, to getting your Merbles fixed without needing to get the official licensed brand of Merble balls. But I don't know why you would do that. This looks so fucking boring. It'd be more fun wiping your ass with a bad case of hemorrhoids than playing Merbles. Whether you're at the beach, campground, tailgating, or in your backyard, Merbles will brighten up your day and get everyone excited to play. It will not do that. What Merbles most likely will do is act as a band-aid for a shitty family relationship where the father, the son, the wife, and the daughter, they're, they're not all on the same page. All of them not exactly fans of each other, but maybe once a week, maybe every Friday, the father forces the family to play Merbles in the backyard to try and bond, but it only makes them drift further apart. Merbles is also just a horrible fucking name. It sounds like Leif Erikson Day from Spongebob. Hinga dinga dergen, Merbles, Spongebob, Merbles. Unlike bocce, Merbles are light, buoyant, more dynamic, and can be played almost anywhere. In fact, using the terrain to your advantage is half the fun. Ladies, I know that trick shot just made you wet, but please calm down your thirst. That Merbles expert is taken. Each set of Merbles comes in a heavy-duty, totable canvas bag with the instructions printed right on it. Ah, there it is. The Holy Scripture, the Ten Commandments of Merble. Each Merble set contains balls for two individual players or teams. Merbles are a hit wherever I take them. I bring them out at family reunions, when the grandkids come over, they're easy to play with and will give us memories that'll last a lifetime. Now this is actually a very powerful testimony. Unless you're living under a rock, then you're probably familiar with the legend Chip G. Hall of Fame Merbler, often referred to as the bad boy of Merbles, he was rumored to have performed cunnilingus on over 20 women at the retirement home where the last Merbles championship was held. So him coming out here saying how much he loves Merbles, that, that is something not to be taken lightly. But I do have to say, I think Chip is being a little too pretentious here. Merbles aren't exactly going to give you memories to last a lifetime. 
unless you're playing strip merbles with your family and grandma loses and her fat flabby titties come out and you're still like nine years old, then maybe that'll stick with you for the rest of your life and merbles is definitely going to be a negative thing to you from now on. Merbles lightweight design ensures that they're gentle on your joints and shoulders and much easier to transport than cornhole, bocce, or horseshoes. Perfect for RVs, car trips, tailgating, and more. And if you're traveling with any of those games, you're already no fun to be around, so you might as well add Merbles to that. They even make a great gift. Merbles, open a bag of fun. So call now to get your set of Merbles today for just $49.95, only through this exclusive TV offer. That's a fucking ton for just some little light balls. I When I first heard that number, I was blown away. $50 for what is essentially just seven balls that any balls could be used for? That's a bit insulting, but who am I to question the Merbles brand? That shit's probably made out of unicorn hide. But yeah, anyway, maybe this, maybe I'm wrong and this will be the next huge sport. You know, right now we're in an esports craze where all kids growing up want to be professional gamers. Maybe in like 5-10 years, kids growing up are going to want to be professional merblers. But uh, only time will tell. That's it. See ya.